Many of us just don't have the space for a big studio, but maybe we have a spare bedroom. Today, Marilyn shows us how she makes that work for her. Let's check it out. I'm Marilyn Lindsay, and I live here in Lakefield. I started weaving probably about four or five years ago, and my mother was a master weaver, so she had several looms and a lot of yarn, and I decided I might as well do this, even though she had passed away, and I couldn't ask her, ask her any questions. So she had a huge number of weaving books, which uh, I think is probably any book you would want to see uh, she's got, and all these yarns. This was originally a three section bookcase that I enlarged to put to put the yarn on some of the yarn I tried to divide it by color and I've kept most of the stuff out here is cotton I have uh, some other material I'll show you in the cupboard in a minute but um, so basically it's a four harness jack loom and I've mostly woven flat goods uh, um, runners, placemats, tea towels, you name it. I haven't gotten into weaving any clothing of any sort. It's got a nice exposure because it's a southern window, so even in the winter time, I get great light in here. Maybe not for photography, but it's still. <laughs> and when I warp the loon, I, always, I warp both front to back and back to front, and honestly, I prefer back to front. Um, and then I have this other little area, little cupboard that was my closing cupboard, but I've enlarged it to accommodate yet more yarn and this most of this yarn is uh is wool uh whether for clothing or for rugs my mom was quite a versatile weaver i i did inherit a warping board which i decided i used to put it on my dining room table downstairs but i put a couple of hooks in here so i can warp it standing up much more convenient than lying on the table trying to stretch over I also, Mom also has a uh, one of those circular warping wheels, uh, but it's too big to put in here. <laughs> There's other pieces of equipment that I have not been able to adopt because of the lack of space, but I find this a perfect size for me, and uh, it lets me weave without having it take over my whole house. So how did you learn to weave? I took a course at the uh, weaving, Weavers and Spinners Guild in Peterborough, and then I just launched in and learned by trial and error. What is your favorite thing to weave? Well, at the moment, it's still flat flat goods. I did weave my, my sister a runner for her outdoor table last year, and she was so excited with it. I wish my rest of my family felt similarly, but I'd like to, mom, my mother used to weave clothing. Eventually, I'd like to get to that point. Wow, but, that sounds uh, exciting. Yet. Do you have a favorite structure that you like to weave? Um, I like to play with uh, different patterns and discover what what the pattern looks like as it as it comes up on the in the weave go woven goods. Uh, no, nothing in particular. But I mean, if I was just weaving tabby, I think I'd not get very far. What I usually find is I find the threading the loom is very time consuming. But, and then when I start weaving, after I've woven about this much, I think, oh my, now what am I going to do? I've got all this yarn, I'm going to have to weave it all off. <laughs> Common, but, I think all weavers feel that way, or most do. Except Faye has encouraged me to, to explore other ways to do drawdown from the same threading to get different patterns, and I haven't got there yet, but that's great. Do you have a favorite color combination? Um, well, I... I like all colors. Um, the one that I did for my sister was tones of brown and rust, and it had several tones of brown and rust, and it really looks smart. Uh, the other color I really like is a, a yellow-blue combination, a yellow-green combination. That's about it. Okay. So you just have this one loom. How often do you find yourself in here weaving? Well, a different summer and winter is quite different. In the winter, I would probably be, if I get it threaded up, I'd be in here every evening for a little bit. In the summer, I've got so many other things to do outside, and I, if I'm in here once every couple of weeks, it would be amazing. But in the winter, it's, to me, weaving is a winter kind of, off-season kind of uh, activity. Do you have any other fiber art-related hobbies that you do? Oh, well, I do rug hooking. I... Uh, uh, knit, of course, everybody knits. I do basketry. What other? Oh, I'm doing some finger weaving. I'm presently teaching myself uh, to backstrap weave. 
pun. <laughs> if you liked today's video, please be sure to check out this one or this one. See you there.